right, good morning, viewers. Welcome to Abuja Today on AGTV, a program where we analyze issues around Abuja and its environs. With me today, we have a very important guest in our midst, in person of Comrade Moses Magaji, the president of Abuja Youth Projectors. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, my brother. Can we meet you? Yeah. As you well as said, my name is uh, Comrade Moses Magaji, the president of Abuja Youth Projector. Thank you very much. Abuja Youth Projectors, tell us more about the organization. Well, um, Abuja Youth Projector, Projectors uh, is a collective like minds of the youth in FCT that uh, we have seen it very necessary that the youth of Abuja is high time we define what we do in politics and our society. Mm. It is high time for us to know who drives us mm. in terms of the leadership of FCT. Mm. It is time to know our rural people who are living in a rural community, are they having the benefits of their voting or they are just being used and after the votes you dump them. It is high time for us to know in FCT that let the the, the residents or whosoever lives in Abuja should know that Abuja youths have a voice. They have okay. a mouth to define what they want okay. and what they don't want. Okay. It is our time in FCT we know that it is not about bringing out a lot of candidates in a political party. I am vying for this, I am vying for that. What have you done? Okay. What can your people in your own local area come out to say that this person Yes, we, we can attest to him that he has done this, he has done that. So therefore, let's give him a leadership. leadership. All these are the reasons why we felt the youth of Abuja, let's come with a collective ideas. How do we sanitize all this? The voting time, when it is high time, you just come and feel you can give us peanut at the polling union to give you votes. Okay. And uh, you at the end of the day, no one can knock at your door to tell you the problem yes. at the end of the day we cannot even near your gates when things is going on in our local community to report no. issues to report that issues. affect the grassroots enough of that so if i understand it is a platform that serves as an interface between the electorate at the grassroots yes. and the leaders out there very correct okay so at the long run what do you intend to achieve well, through this platform at the long run, or our main objective, mm. or our main mission, mm. is to put a sanitized system where our leaders no longer tend to use us for nothing. Okay. It uh, th this platform is going to bring a system that a leader in a position you can trust whatever you have given out. To your people, yes, not giving it to the wrong hands, yes. And at the end of the day, the rural people will be sitting there and be saying, You have done nothing to them, they will be pointing an accused finger on you. No, this platform will help you to trace all these things as a leader. We are not enemies, the dividends, yes. the dividends of democracy, of democracy actually gets to, to, the, the, people. to the people at the grassroots. At the grassroots, we are not going to be an enemy to anybody, we okay. are not partisan. It doesn't matter what party you are, whether you are in PDP, you are in APC, you are in Afghan, whatever. No. All ours is a quality leader. So it's a non-partisan It's a non-partisan. That is our motto says for quality leadership. Okay. Who is this person that is qualified? That is what we are after. You always want to know the mode of operation and how do you intend to achieve your set target and objective of this organization? How do you operate? Yeah. The organization have board members. Okay. We have stakeholders in FCT who have achieved a lot in their lives. Okay. So we made them as our board members. Whenever we have, we, we are the soldiers. I am the president of the association. Yes. I and I I I interface with the affairs of the day by day affairs of the association. association. Whenever we want to embark on any project. We go to our board members, seek their advice because they are stakeholders of FCT. Okay. We have royal fathers who are part of this movement. Okay. That uh, whatever it is, high time we know that there can never be a peace unless the royalty or the royal fathers, fathers. 
accept it to be a peace because yes. whatever happens in the community everywhere for that is aware they of they have it. direct direct, yes, direct access, access to, the, to people. the people so that is why we are bringing them in into this platform so that we can learn and achieve from them we have uh, every area council have its executive okay. we have chairmen who champion the area council from the area council each ward have its leader okay and from each ward we tend to have canvassers and all the pulling uh, units, units so that these canvassers we sanitize the voters okay. when voting time comes and not only for the voting the people we have at the grassroots okay. in each pulling unit should be able to tell us okay. that in our community we are lacking this okay. we are lacking this during election uh, during campaign so so person promised us this but we have not seen it mm. from there we take it up okay. so we have structure from the state from FCT the sub down to the okay the leadership the leadership process is it selection or by election for the leadership so what we have now is by selection okay why because we need to build a house okay when you begin to bring election in, into it, we tend to give it to the wrong hands. Okay. Because one who has a sweet mouth to campaign for a position, okay. you tend to feel he has the capacity. Okay. But we we'll sit within ourselves, we we'll look, what is the credibility of this person? This person. We we'll now say, okay, this person fits this position. Okay. We we'll give it a trial. Okay. As an acting. Okay. And when it, we give you some targeted time, when you are able to meet up and we see operation is smooth, say, yes, you suit this. Mm. We don't want to bring the, uh, the idea of election now into positions, no. Okay. Because it will help us to sanitize who is who that can handle okay. a position for so us. So with time, you, you begin to interface with intended leaders, people who want to aspire for various positions, position. various political uh, parties. And when uh, there are divergent issues or misunderstanding among them, you serve as interface. Am I correct? Yes, you are very correct. Thank you very much. Uh, before we continue, we'll take a short break. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back viewers still with me is comrade moses magaji the president of abuja youth project you're welcome back sir thank you uh, thank you very much we want to know how do you assess participation of youth in leadership in fct vis-a-vis -vis politics well uh as a youth in fct i think uh I'm in a better position, or I know the no way no mm. of what is happening in Abuja politics. Yes. The fact is, we, the youth in politics, in FCT, we are struggling to make our ways to politics. Okay. Because uh, we tend to grow up to see that our leaders, uh, who tend to be in offices, don't want to leave the offices for the younger ones to come. Okay. But the, the, the democracy is, 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 is a process that has to do with the election and all that. Do you, do you have the opportunity to get themselves involved at party level, the electionary process and the rest of them? When the youth have the, the opportunity... The present leader stop them from doing that? When the youth have the opportunity to do that, okay. they have the finances to do that. Mm. And how can the youth have a finance when you have not built him sure. up? Okay. from a, a, a grassroots where he grew up and see himself finding himself in school and after school you have a job to do and when you have a job to do you have something to keep beside that when you want to do politics you can invest on it no youths don't have that we are only struggling ourselves into politics i, I i've seen abuja youths now taking the mantle of politics in fct like uh they said when the kingdom of God suffered, suffered violent, only did violent take it by force. That is what is happening in FCT. Okay. The youth are not taking the power by force. Look at our councils. We are, we, I think this time, mm. this time around, yes. the youth have tried. They have tried to let these old people know yes. that it is high time we come out to okay. Not by money. That is why I love Abuja politics at times. Mm. Your money don't give you what you want. What you want. It is who you are. Uh, and you get what you want. Pedigree. Your pedigree, your antecedent, okay. and whatever your achievements are, 
money don't work okay. in FCT when it comes to reality. Okay. But giving the youth that opportunity to secure the ticket is the problem. Okay. But by the time he has secured the, the ticket, it becomes what the, the youth want him to become. Okay. So the youth in FCT, actually, they are trying in politics. Now, everyone is coming. Everybody is working up from the slumber. Okay. So how do you assess mentorship process our leaders are they actually doing well are they mentoring the younger ones no. if they are not more tomorrow do we have credible people people who are capable that fct people can look up to to becoming leaders in various uh strata of uh, leadership the truth is in fct we have that problem of mentorship okay we have not seen leader that is trying to mentor somebody okay to take over from. Let's take a reason, our father, the senator. Okay. I've seen or I've heard where people said they cannot just figure out who is is he mentoring mm. to take over well, from. After him. Does he want to remain there? The truth is the youth are even angry, okay. I'm part of them. Okay. You don't become a leader for a single office and be using the same people you started with. What happened to others mm. who mentored them? Those people you are with, are you mentoring them to take over from you? Mm. And if that it is, what is the benefit of others who mm. come out at the end of the day and vote for you? Mm. There is a problem of mentorship in FCT. So what is your message to Well, uh, my message to the leaders of FCT, okay. it is high time to know that a good home, it is when a father trained the son about the family problem, that when he is off, the home, the son can be able to solve the problem. Mm. So if they fail to mentor the youth, yes. it will get to a time that they are grandchildren who will later become youth. When these youth who are struggling now, will also struggle. they will also struggle. So the reverse is the case. Okay. So they say the, the higher the problem, the higher you see it tomorrow. Okay. So I am advising the leaders that mentor the youth so that tomorrow your grandchildren will not suffer for your sin. Thank you very much. Before the last question, let's go in a short break. All right, welcome back, viewers. Still with me, Comrade Moses Magaji, the president of Abuja Youth Project. Sir, the present administration, how will you assess the present administration of APC? They have consistently told Nigerians that they have done well mm -hmm. in various aspects of um, the, uh, uh, the economy, security, and the rest of them. Most of the time, they talk more about the economy, the issue of insecurity. They say the country, the country is better than the way they made it. What is your stake on that? My brother, let me tell you. The truth is all these are propagandas. We are all in this country. Mm. Yeah, we buy for at the rate of 95. And all of a sudden, it was even 64. 65. 65 before it became yeah. 95 everybody started making noise good luck administration all this when this government came up what happened we started from 125 today what are we facing we live in a country where you have a hundred naira you go to the market you get carry today what happened yeah. uh all those uh, we are living in a country better than before the truth is that there is no government at um I'm not an East man, mm. but for a little experience I have, I have not experienced a government where we feel hardship as now. Okay. If the hardship have not reached you, you won't know. Mm. If hardship have not reached any of your family member, you won't know. Mm. You will feel everything is well. It's okay. It is not okay, my brother. People are hungry. People are dying. The security they promised us good during uh PDP regime. They kidnapped the Chibok girls. What happened? How many people have they kidnapped from schools? Have they been able to rescue them? Has kidnapping stopped? 
has bumped things stop. That is a big question. Nothing has stopped. Nothing has changed. It is either worsening and worsening every day. Mm. We are only looking forward to see a new Nigeria. Mm. Who will come and give us this talk and we fulfill it. But for now, the country has nowhere to talk about. 2023 general election. What is your message to Nigerians? Oh, a fantastic thing. A fantastic election. I look forward to see where the youth will say enough is enough. enough. Though the atmosphere is speaking. But let's see what happens. Are we still going to go back to when the youth will say, we're going to do this. Mm. But somebody will come behind the door and put hand in your pocket and you keep quiet? Or no, now it doesn't matter. You put hand in our pocket. We will still do what we want to do. 2023, we tell. We are in it together. We will keep tuning to it and see what it tells. Before then, the atmosphere will have tell you what will happen. Mm. My message is the wise. That is why Abuja Youth Projectors, we are going to sensitize the FCT people. people on their voting powers. It is not the money you collect at the pooling units that you eat that day. It is the future of your generation that you are building. Mm. So 2023, we determine either we take our future ourselves or we destroy it ourselves. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lastly, what is your message from Abuja Youth Projectors? As their president, what is your message to FCT people, especially the youth? My message to the youth of FCT as the president of Abuja Youth Projector, as we look forward together to project good leaders, quality leaders, let's all together put our heads, our minds, because we are elites, let's project a quality leader to better our lives together tomorrow. Not somebody that will come give us story tomorrow, it becomes something else. Mm. Our membership, we don't segregate. Mm. So long as you are an indigenous, of FCT, you are eligible to be a member of this platform where you can come share ideas with us. Everybody's ideas is welcome. We are not computers or we don't have all. Mm. We only borrow from ourselves and we put it into practice. Mm. Let's synthesize ourselves together, especially the rural areas where they tend to use them during voting time and you dump them after they have voted. It is high time we take it ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much for having you today. It's been a wonderful time having you, You're Comrade welcome. Moses Magadi, the yeah. president of Abuja yeah. Youth Projector. Yes. We look up to having you time to time in our subsequent uh, episode. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for investing your time with us today. We look up to subsequent episodes. Please keep tuned. AGTV is there to serve you in all ramifications. Thank you very much.